How do you make compost for your garden? Your first step is to get as much organic matter as you can. I just got this whole load of mulch from the tip. It was completely free and it was the easiest thing I've ever done. I just pulled up. I actually bought this pitchfork thinking that I'd need to shovel it by hand, which probably would have taken an hour and a half. Instead, a giant bulldozer dumped it in there and it took 20 seconds to do that. So that saved me a lot of time. So today I'm gonna to be trying to make a bulk amount of compost for my gardens and I wanna do that with as little money, in fact, zero money. So this was completely free, it's a good first step. The next thing I wanna get is some horse manure to mix in. And I just thought I'd take you guys on this little compost journey with me to making some compost and I've decided that with my YouTube channel, I also want to do videos that are more kind of a vlog style. So instead of me showing you how to do things and telling you how to do things, instead I do like episode one, episode two and take you along with me on doing different things in the garden. So today I'm just going to label it as episode one and I'm going to be putting, uh, making compost and then episode two might be applying that compost and it's the whole journey of me gardening and learning to grow more food in a small amount of area so if you guys are interested please keep watching and let's get all this mulch out of this trailer should be fun all right let's do this just quickly I'm actually really excited about this I bought this from Bunnings it's a pitchfork that's designed just for mulch and I used to use the normal the normal pitchforks with which has the three prongs and it takes so much longer than this this is the best thing since sliced bread so we're gonna give it a go and I just realized right as I started recording that I didn't have a wheelbarrow to take it from here over to my compost pile which is about 20 meters away so instead what I'm gonna use is this bin as my wheelbarrow which should do the job. Let's get into it. This mulch pile is also very, very hot, which means that there are microbes in it that have begun breaking it down and one of the um, outputs of them breaking it down is heat. Because of the amount of activity it takes to break down mulch, it's a very hot process. And I've actually heard of some people that get a pile of mulch like this and they will put a spa in the middle of it. So they'll, they'll dig a hole and put a spa in it and leave it there for a few hours and the mulch or the compost whatever it is will actually heat up the spa and make it warm without any electricity which i found very interesting and it's something that i kind of want to do one day just get a little mulch spa set up See if we can lift this thing. Oh my gosh. Jeez, that's heavy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh my god. This cannot be good for my back. <sighs> so that is my mulch pile, sorry, my compost pile there. And my plan is to extend it all the way along here and fill that in and then hopefully in two months, I just picked that number, I don't know, it could be six months, but two months, we have nice, healthy, black, spongy compost to put on the garden. I 
think this time I'm going to fill the bin up halfway instead of all the way because that was that was too heavy. It was too much. This is going to take way longer than I thought. Oh man. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is very hot out here and I might have to put this mulch scooping on pause. I only got through about maybe one fifth of this trailer load. <laughs> yeah, it's just so hot out here and I definitely underestimated not having a wheelbarrow. It is a lot harder to carry it by hand. So my takeaway from this moment is if you're going to do a big, bigger project like this, like doing a whole trailer load of mulch, get the right supplies you need, otherwise you're not going to finish it in time. So I might have to wait till the sun goes down a bit to do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to plant some seedlings in a little seed tray I got in the shade. I just thought I'd show you guys my current compost pile. So as you can see, there's a lot of different things in there. So I've got palm leaves, I've got used mushroom bags, food scraps, weeds, pretty much anything I can get my hands on that is free. And I want this garden to be low input, free, easy to do. And so that's one of the things I'm doing here. And hopefully over time, this whole row will be filled in with compost and a cool thing I heard about compost actually is that once it fully breaks down into pure humus which is the pure compost part it goes down to a quarter of its original size so this whole bed here will be a quarter of its original size and then all of that will go onto the garden beds over here and then eventually those garden beds will extend down this grassy patch right next to the compost so that is the plan. Okay, cool. So I've got my little seed set up here. I've got some garden soil in here that I'm going to sift out through this container to get a very fine particle size for the seeds. So let's get into it. So sadly the video just cut out, but all the seeds have been planted and they're ready to go. And that is all for today. That was much nicer in the shade. If you guys have any video suggestions at all for the future, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. I'll be doing these kind of videos every Friday and probably posting them by Sunday. And my plan is to do like a vlog style video of me in the garden, just doing different tasks and inspiring all you amazing people out there to get out there and do the same and it's hard work I'm not even gonna lie with you guys but it's worth it I think we've got a big phone problem in in the world at the moment and so anything you can do to get outside is is a win and so that's what I'm trying to do is get outside and grow some food so Thank you for watching you behind that screen. I appreciate it. See you in the next one.